Hey, folks, if I can have your attention. Oh, we have one. Are you coming in, Ram? Okay. So, so you're one of the victims? One of the victims, yes. And what, what injury do you have? I have an arm injury from an auto accident. Look, there's a friend of mine, a buddy of mine over here. I think he's so bad. My husband's been taking the CERT training classes, and so we thought it would be good to come out and be kind of a part of what was going on. The CERT teams will go in there, and they're given backpacks, gloves, and, and basic equipment for, for them to, to operate under. And then we'll go in there and simulate search and rescue, medical treatment and triage, and evacuation of the survivors. Whatever else you see, just forget about it. Just think about your personal safety, number one. Because you can practice all you like, but if you don't actually go out in the real world and with the equipment, you know, with your helmet on and with your mask on and with your goggles and so on, you don't really appreciate what it's like to work like that. We actually have moulage artists that will come in there and allow folks to look like they've been through purgatory and back, you know, with injuries and burns and what have you. And it helps uh, type the realism in the exercises. I think I hit my head up against the side of the car when we crashed. Actually, I did a lot of Halloween makeup last year, so this is right up my alley. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Nice. I was the team leader for an operations team. Her name was Team Alpha. Her role was to uh, go into an area where there had been a multiple car accident to uh, assess the injuries and the number of casualties present and then to report back. You guys right now are reactive. You want to become proactive. Who's got an Whoa. Or a stretcher? And the instructors will be in with the CERT teams to coach them along on, do you remember what we said about raising the arm when the, to, to try to slow the, the pressure? Or if it's a similar let it break. Do you remember how we told you about splinting? Can you hear me? Can you hear, hey, can you hear me? We're going to do a quick head to toe. It's going pretty good. These guys are doing a, a really good job of getting their triage station set up and organized. Uh, we've got incident command post set up and organized. And now my job is just running around and creating havoc. My mother's down. I think she's there. I, I can't see her here. I think she's in the accident. She's deaf. We are located out in the Aurora area, so we know from the movie theater, I think it's very important for people to have that experience, dry runs, to be able to respond under pressure. Right now, we can see in the triage area, they've got people divided up and they have uh, divided up those who need immediate attention from those who won't need attention for a little while, and, uh, delayed and, and minors. And so uh, what they're doing is going through and treating those who have the most serious injuries first, uh, making sure that they get seen to and that they stay uh, alive, and then uh, working their way through and making sure that everybody stays safe, and they're doing a great job of that. You need to return to triage. Can you take these two back to triage? Come with me. I'll take with me. With me. So it's been great because mostly I think the Officer of Emergency Management for all the cities have realized that you can't do it by yourself. If you're the one affected, it's very hard to pull. Those people are home taking care of their loved ones. And ask if they need anything. Ask if they need anything. I think it's really great for the community. I mean, with everything going on, why not have all that practice? You want to make sure that you're prepared, so why not help that situation and volunteer to make it even better? I think they're important. these courses are important to have around because just so many people think they know how to respond to something, but in actual practice probably don't really know how. It's a lot of fun doing this stuff and, and seeing citizens out and, and being able to respond to incidents like this is a fantastic thing. Also keeping track of what areas are safe, so if they come across the hazmat or 1051. It gives the folks the ability of not to feel so helpless when a disaster strikes. It was excellent. Excellent. We had a great team. We worked well together. One, by the end of the day at 2 p.m. on Saturday, they'll have that, yes, we can do this. And there is that success there. And it gives those folks that wonderful feeling that I'm not so helpless after all. And I can help my family, help myself, and help my neighborhood safely.